Well, hello there, guys. I'm Resident Evil Knievel, and welcome to Mafia on the PS2. So, Mafia was released originally in 2002 on the PC, and two years later, it was ported over to the PS2 and Xbox. Now, I think the PS, uh, the sorry, the PC version is better than the PS2 version. Well, that's what I've heard anyway from you know online and from reviews that I've read. But anyway, there's going to be a long-ass cutscene right now, so I'm going to let that run and enjoy and watch it. So. I'll start talking in about a year's time, folks, so enjoy watching the cutscene. Detective Norman, sorry for the delay, but I didn't want anybody seeing me, if you know what I mean. It's not my habit to sit with people like you. Got a business proposition for you, Detective. Does the name Salieri mean anything to you? You got something to come with him? I've worked for him for several years. Now he wants to rub me out. Ralph will introduce you to us a complete idiot. But he's got a special way with cars. Ralph, this is Tom. If you bring him a stolen car, Tommy, we'll make it your own. I've decided to give you a shot, Tommy. I like new faces. I'm trying to kick your ass out of this part of town. You can't feel sorry for these animals. Jesus! Holy! Working for you is real interesting, boss. What'd you say? Bring back the bat. It's my nephew's. Sure thing. Come on. Just try it. <laughs> Stop screaming. Stop right now. I have to say, you got balls, Tommy. Hello. I'll teach you a few tricks. Christ, that was crazy. Well, hello again, guys. I'm back again from... I don't know. I think I went to the toilet whilst that cutscene was showing anyway, but... That cutscene wasn't as long as I remembered it to be, but next cutscene is going to be very long. But anyway, we're going to play Mafia on the PS2. I've never played Mafia 2 ever. Or the, P uh, the PC version of this game, so... I cut... Fuck it. Oh my god, why did I delete that? Okay, I, I was doing a test run of this game. I just thought... I can't think of any name to put, so I just said... Alright, yeah, yeah, I'll just put, fuck it. So I did. How embarrassing. I should have really played this, you know, checked that I deleted all my profiles beforehand. Now that I've done it, I can't go back. But anyway, we're going to play Mafia on the PS2, so... What should I name it? I don't know. Um, uh, I know why we're going to call it. We're going to call it this, folks. Not to worry. We shall call it this. Yes, that should do the trick. So let's create a profile now. So I like Mafia. I've played it once already through um, all the way through. So there's 20 missions of the game, and to be honest, I don't like the first two missions because I don't know. Just I just don't like them at all. So here you are. Here the ma the, the main knobhead menu is. We've got racing, which you can race. You know. Well, I, 
I, I really haven't played racing to be honest, I've never tried it before. Free ride, you know, you can just um, drive around, what is it called? Lost Heaven, that's the place that is set in, you know, the fictional Chicago-like Mafia town. And also the countryside you can drive around, but the car cyclopedia. There's a lot of shitty cars in this um, game, but there's a lot of variety as well. There's some, you know, perform better than others. Well, some which you get at the start perform really, really shit. And I'll come to it as we, you know, play ahead. So, uh, I'm not going to check this actually. This is fine. I, I never checked it before. I thought, you know, everything's fine. I want to feel the vibration when I crash. So, the, my main problems with this game is the driving. I don't like anything with the driving. Because, you know, the cars, um, the, the shock absorption is atrocious. Absolutely atrocious. I don't know, just driving around it. You have to be careful, you have to be experienced, it takes a while to get used to it, but anyway. Once we begin a new game, this cutscene is gonna take it's gonna take, I don't know, at least eight minutes, I think, so I might talk. It's playing again this thing. No, don't go back. I might just talk, you know, on and off during the cutscenes, you know, just make a little joke or a reference. I'll just let you know something, but most of them are quite quiet, so Okay, let's begin. The eight minute or ten minutes cutscene, whatever. Enjoy, folks. Now we that are strong ought to bear the infirmities of the weak and not to please ourselves. Romans 15 1. Not to please ourselves? What do you mean, like? Indulge in the wrong lifestyle. I suppose it might mean that. Now, looking at that name from the side, after you thought he said Willem Defoe. You know that guy uh, that acts in Spider Man? Since there's a lot of cuts in this game, it's more, you know, driven, you know, story driven, you know? As well as action oriented, so. You mainly play this game for the action scenes as well as the story, which has a good story, obviously. But for the driving, no, no, I don't, I don't play it for the driving. There's only one thing I like about the driving, and I'll show you when it when I have the chance to show it. I'm not going to explain it now, though, because I want to put the words into practice. That's what I want to basically do, folks. I want to show you what I mean. Just by watching these cutscenes, it'd actually be quite a good film, you know? You would have been out of gone to see it in the cinemas, I mean. And this game does reference a lot of other, you know, gangster films that I've seen in my life. Such as Goodfellas, Once Upon a Time in America, and what else? Taxi Driver, that's it. Taxi Driver starring Robert De Niro. And the only reason I said Taxi Driver is because... Because one of the missions is called Taxi Driver. You shall see in the second mission. I don't like that mission either. It's just a just a boring mission really. Now this is just the opening scene, you see. It's gonna set the first level, you know, with another long ass cutscene, so Yeah, just enjoy the you know vision basically. Another thing I don't like about this game is, is the loading screens and I'll show you that when we come to it as well. And I've got a lot, of, a, a lot of things to explain about this game which I'd rather explain in gameplay rather than over the cutscenes so yeah. Some of these areas actually look like um, infamous, you know the rail tracks and buildings surrounding it. <coughs> Where's my water? That's the main character obviously, his name's Tommy. Tommy Angelo, if I can pronounce his second name right. Right, 
Right, so now it's gonna, you know, we're gonna start getting into the story, the backlog, and all that stuff. All that goodness. Detective Norman, can I join you? Sorry for the delay, but I didn't want anybody seeing me, if you know what I mean. What can I get you, sir? Just a coffee. Coming right up. It's not my habit to sit with people like you. Got a business proposition for you, Detective. I ain't no businessman. And even if I were, I wouldn't be doing business with the likes of you. I don't usually do business with your kind either. But this is a bit of a strange deal. Good for you and your superiors, and good for me. It concerns a certain kind of trade. Trade? Well, let's just say that I hold a high position in a not-so-legal organization. It's just the kind of organization people such as yourself would like to know a lot about. And I, on the other hand, for certain reasons, don't want... Your coffee, sir. Thanks. I have my own personal reasons why I don't want to be associated with this organization. It ain't too easy to leave this kind of business, if you know what I mean. I think I know where you're coming from. You'll get a bullet in your head if you don't disappear quickly, right? That's not the only reason. Got any kids, Detective? I've got a wife and daughter. I don't want them to have any problems because of me. Yeah, well, I ain't just gonna hand out protection to any walk crook. You should have thought about them kids before, cause I... Sure, sure. Listen, I don't want something for nothing. So here's the deal. Does the name Salieri mean anything to you? Salieri? It damn well does. You got something to come with him? You could say that. I've worked for him for several years. Now he wants to rub me out. If you protect my family and me, I'll tell you everything. Names, dates, accounts, everything. Enough to put him away for life. I ain't Santa Claus. If I go to the Chief with this, I need to know everything you know. And I have to be sure you'll testify in court. Sure. If you ain't in a hurry, I'll tell you my whole story. And all the deals I've worked on over the years. Okay. I've got time, and I'm listening. This guy's got a lot of time on his hands, hasn't he? 